Where am I? Who am I? What is this place? Calm down. You're at Lofell Works. Huh? Now, what number are you? Ah, number 647. Pen Dragon. Hmm. I'll shorten it to Pen. Well, here's a fun fact. Pen Dragon actually means Head Dragon. Anyways, your crew has jumped into your cab. Now, they're going to take you out so you can do a few tests. Mm, Alright then. Pen started to move, rolling towards the outside. Once he was outside, the workman had started to look over him. He finished his tests and rolled back into the sheds. There, he saw a tank engine and two tender engines. Well then, glad to know you're finally complete. My name's Alan. I'm Simon. And I'm Alan. Nice to meet you. I'm Pan. Nice to meet you. You know, you're going to be the first non-NBR engine to be allocated here. Really? Yeah, there's just me, Simon, Alec, Lethbridge, an NBRL class, and... Just then, a large North British H class rolled back into the shed next to Penn. An LSW iron 15. I've seen too many of your kinds already. But I suppose it won't be that bad if you head back to Bournemouth tomorrow. No, remember what Mr. Lance said. If he proves to do well, he'll be staying here permanently. Ah, whatever. I'm sure Mr. Lance will make the right decision. We shall see. Look, here he comes now. Just then, a man walked up to the sheds. Hello there. I'm Mr. Lance, the shed master. You must be my new express engine. Express engine? Of course. So you plan on replacing me, I take it? No, we'll just be put on the express trains that leave 30 minutes after the main express. Great, just great. Aberdeen, be thankful that I haven't locked you up in the sheds. Now, Pen Dragon, Pen, Pen, I suggest that you get a good night's sleep. You have a very busy day tomorrow. All right, sir. And one by one, the engine started to fall asleep. The next morning, Penn was to double-head a passenger train with Aberdeen. However, Aberdeen kept voicing his complaints. How ridiculous! I can't believe I have to double-head a passenger train with that southern engine. Not like you have much of a choice, unless you want to be stuck in the sheds all day. Don't pull that card with me. After all, you're not the shed master. Just then, Pen came into sight. The LSWR in 15 had started to back down, none the wiser to the comments that were just said about him. He blew his whistle, and they set off.
However, as they approached the next station, it happened. Penn started approaching the points, when all of a sudden, he felt his wheels shift as they ran over the junction. He tried stopping, but it was too late. His wheels landed off the rails and into the dirt. Now what on earth did you do that for? You could have injured our passengers. How should I know? I didn't know the points would do this. Both of you stop. It's not what's important right now. What is important is that we get you back on the rails, Pen, and make sure the passengers are okay. After being re-railed, Aberdeen had taken the passengers. Simon was responsible for taking Penn back to the works to make sure he wasn't hurt. Well, I hope you're happy with yourself. Honestly, at your age, I would have known to anticipate a point's failure. Honestly, I knew it was a bad idea letting you run here. Mr. Lance didn't want to hear what my opinion was, but after today, he'll know that I was right. Aberdeen, no engine would have been able to anticipate a point's failure. I don't care. It's not my responsibility. I don't have to look out for this London South Western Failure! For Penn, that was the last straw. He left the sheds, upset. Aberdeen was pleased. However, he could feel the eyes of the other engines on him. Honestly, it should be you sleeping out there, not him. The next morning, Simon had decided to have a chat with Penn. Hey. I know you didn't mean to have that accident on purpose. But why does he think I did it? Is it really necessary to kick up a fuss over every accident that is out of other engines control? In his case, yes. Well, he's rather foolish for that. Indeed he is. Soon, Penn had to leave to take the second express. As he departed, Simon gave him a small smile and Penn smiled back.
After they crossed the viaduct, however, they saw a coach. Pen realized it was a train. As he started to slow down, he realized this was Aberdeen's Express, the first Express, to be precise. Hey, what happened? Aberdeen, who was going too fast, burst his safety valve on the way. Well, I could push the train. Ugh, absolutely not. Well, from what I see, you have two options. You can stay here, and your passengers can walk and find a bus. Or, I can push the train, and we could be a little late. But still, the railways reign supreme. Well, how exactly do you intend on pushing my train and pulling yours as well? Huh? I don't think you're that powerful now, are you? I'll still give it a good try. Alright then, I'll go back in the cab. Just make sure you give it all you got. Penn was working hard, along with pushing Aberdeen's train, he was pulling his own full train of eight coaches. They arrived into Sandsworth, very late, and Penn was very tired, but he did it. Aberdeen was taken off the train, and the two trains were combined together. Penn was to struggle once more, and take the train all the way on to Scotland, after which he would be responsible for all the passenger trains on the main line.
Ken returned to the sheds. He saw that Aberdeen was there sulking. However, all the other engines were smiling. Heard about what you did. Thanks for showing up Aberdeen over there. Aberdeen, have anything you want to say to him? Well, I... I suppose I'm sorry. I'm not saying we're friends or anything, but I respect you. Hey, you better take it. That's the closest thing you'll ever get to hearing Aberdeen say he's sorry about anything. Alright, I'll take it. Well, Pen, I've just come from the station. Over there, all the passengers have been singing your praises all day. I think that deserves a bit of a roster change. Roster change, sir? Seeing as you did excellent, not just on the secondary express, but the primary express too. I believe you should be in charge of those from now on, instead of Aberdeen. W but sir Oh be thankful you're still on passenger services and not on the slow goods. Now everyone, remember tomorrow's a busy day. I suggest you all get some sleep. As Mr. Vaughn walked away, the engines went to sleep, except for Simon and Penn. Boy, Penn? Yeah? Welcome to Rossworth.